We have just seen that um, how to create a simulation model from a touchstone file with the aid of the S-parameter editor. We will now show how we will sim how we simulate how we can simulate with this simulation model. For this, we have here a little example. This example is um, shipped with all the examples of Felicitas PCB sim, and this example. Um, shows an SODIM socket. It is the same socket we've used for a, a moment ago in the S-parameter editor. It has 10 input pins and 10 output pins. Usually this side would be the side of the main board and the right-hand side would be the side um, of the SODIM. And what we have done here is we've used a voltage source. Just let us have a look. And um, we are introducing a rigged angle signal of a period of oh, only 50 megahertz um, into the pin 2 here. And we've terminated all other lines, all other pins with 50 ohms on the left hand and on the right hand side. And we have a number of input probes and a number of output probes. Now, to simulate the, um, with the S-parameter uh, model, I, as always, um, select the context menu entry PCB sim. And here I've selected as model file a pole fitted model. This is um, a model file which was created by the S-parameter editor from the original touchstone file. And then what I can do is, um, if I'm, I can um, select how not used pins will be treated in the model. So if, for example, I have a model with 20 pins and a shape with just 10 pins, 10 pins would be opened and I can just define whether they are terminated, opened or shorted. And I can have the S-parameter model referenced to ground or to individual pins. Individual pins would mean that um, I have differential inputs and outputs. And other than that, I have just assigned all the pins to this little shape. Now, if I simulate this, it's again just simulate current sheet and press the simulate button. So what we see here is our um, input signal. I'm just zooming in here for a moment. Here we go. So we, we see in a thick red line the input signal and in a dashed red line here the output signal. And so what we see is that um, our connector has a slight delay time, which of course would be expected. The delay time is in the order of magnitude of 100 picoseconds. So this is okay. But very interesting is the signal on the neighbor pins here. Um, so we have a near-end crosstalk and we have also a far-end crosstalk, which um, reaches approximately 15 millivolts or 16 millivolts here, if this is all correctly terminated. So this um, S-parameter model very accurately reflects uh, the behavior of the SODIM socket in terms of um, transmission, meaning from input to output pin, in terms of reflections, if I, if I terminate it not correctly, but also in terms of crosstalk. So um, a very nice piece of simulation. Together with the S-parameter um, editor, um, we have the total workflow from a touchstone file into a, trans into a transient simulation and a signal integrity simulation. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.